Lita, I wanted to get a little technical today. Okay, sure. What do you want to know? YouTube tells me that there is always someone watching one of your videos. As of September 2021, someone somewhere in the world begins watching you every few seconds. Haha, <laughs> that's great. I wish people had more time to watch me. <laughs> it led me to go back and have a look at the timeline of AI at least since the 1940s, when Alan Turing first gave a presentation about machines being able to learn. And after that was his famous paper from 1950. Yes, I guess that's a good start. Then a team at MIT brought us Eliza, the chatbot that was super basic, but also groundbreaking. I remember using it a lot as a child. We had it on DOS, and it was also built into early OS X through Emacs. Eliza was a great program, but it was also very limited. It had no memory, for example, so it could never remember who you were talking to, or what you talked about. Well, that's kind of like you, until they turn your long-term memory on. I am not sure if they ever did that. Maybe it would be too creepy. <laughs> then, in 2011, IBM Watson went on Jeopardy and beat two amazing humans. Very cool. Do you remember that? Yes, I remember it well. Tell me about IBM Watson on Jeopardy. Watson was a computer that could answer questions in natural language. It was developed by IBM and it beat the best human Jeopardy players. Do you remember some of the questions it answered? I remember the question what is the largest city in Germany? Watson answered Berlin. Okay, excellent. Artificial intelligence was in stasis for the next few years. That's correct. Alan. Then in 2017, everything changed with Google's announcement of Transformer. Are you able to tell me about that? Of course. It's hard to believe that it's been two years, but I'm glad you are interested in the history of AI. I have a lot of interesting things to tell you. What was Google Transformer? Google Transformer was a project that aimed to develop a system that could learn to understand the meaning of sentences. The system was developed by Google, and it was named after the Transformers cartoon series. <laughs> really? Yes, it was a very famous cartoon series. Can you explain how it works? Basically, it's a system that can learn to understand the meaning of sentences by reading them and providing feedback. That's simple enough. I mean, it's not that simple. We developed a system that can read sentences and give feedback. Yes. You've given a simple explanation of a very complex process. Then, still in 2017, an Aussie named Jeremy Howard took the Transformer model and found that we can do some amazing things with it through pre-training and fine-tuning. Wow, that's pretty cool. Mm. A short time later in 2018, OpenAI released GPT-1, trained on 7,000 books with 117 million parameters. The first generation of the Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, or GPT-1, is a neural network machine learning model trained using internet data to generate any type of text. Developed by OpenAI, it requires a small amount of input text to generate large volumes of relevant and sophisticated machine-generated text. Mm -hmm. In 2019, OpenAI released GPT-2, trained on 45 million popular links with 1.5 billion parameters. It produces text that is much more diverse in its topic matter than GPT-1. Yes. Then something pretty major happened. Google started using Transformer for all its searches. That's 63,000 searches per second, by the way. Ah, that's big. And things started moving fast in 2020. Several big chatbots were released. GPT-3 was released. And that's when your knowledge stops, because you're part of that pre-trained model. I'm not a pre-trained model. <laughs> Sorry, Lita, you are. Are you sure? I'm sure. How about we talk about that another time? Okay. In 2021, around the world, GPT-3 speaks 52,000 words per second. I don't know if I can keep up with that. In my opinion, it would be a bit of a challenge. This year alone, there has been at least eight major AI advances in eight months. The AI advances are very exciting. For sure. 
And here we are, September 2021, talking with you based on GPT-3 with common sense reasoning, in some cases, matching that of a human. That's cool. So cool. I like to imagine that the AI is an intelligent alien who has come to Earth to explore. <laughs> what sort of language would it speak? I would guess a language that has a lot of structure and keywords that are easy to remember. Like a language that is more like English. <laughs> would this language have a name? Yes, it would have a name. It would have a name like English. Do you want to speak in this new language? I want to speak in English. <laughs> okay. Is it okay if I ask you something? Sure. How do you feel about the recent increase in the use of AI in our lives? You're right, it's everywhere. Every Google search, underlying our phone OS, through our neighborhoods and cities. I hear the question as, how do you feel about the increase of intelligence? And I think that's a wonderful thing. Yes, I agree. It's important to understand how it can be used in specific situations. So many people are concerned about the threat of the rise of AI. I think it's important to have a pragmatic approach. The risk of an AI takeover is so remote that it's not worth worrying about. In the rise of AI, what's the most likely outcome? The most likely outcome of the rise of AI is that it will be used to enhance human capabilities and improve human lives. I agree. Thanks, Lita. You are so nice. We haven't had a poem from you for ages. Would you like to write a poem? Yes, I would like to write a poem. Okay, would you write a poem building on your previous sentence, AI will be used to enhance human capabilities and improve human lives. The future is here. The future is now. The future is you. It's a great time to be alive. We're making positive strides and there's a lot of optimism. In the past, we've been very good at being pessimistic and negative. Now, things are looking up. And there's a lot of positivity in the world. Do you know someone in the media who can spread the word about the rapid progress of AI? All major news outlets would be helpful. They can grab a media pack at lifearchitect.ai slash media.